gonna be it. This thing has been sitting for way too long. So today, we're gonna pick up where we left off. It's pretty cold out here. Still try to warm up. My goal for this video is to extend the front of this thing, move the seating position forward, make some new engine mounts for the 420 that will allow me to actually drop it in a little bit further, and then I can figure out how I'm gonna set up my suspension. Let's get to it. Shout out to Morgan, one of our subscribers, who sent me this epic vice. I still gotta get it bolted down, but already huge game changer. Thanks, buddy.
what I'm talking about. I went through all the trouble to make this cantilever suspension. I wanted to move as much weight inboard as I could, so these shocks are pretty heavy, and these rods out here are not. And you can see I'm kind of working on pushing as much weight to the middle of this thing where the driver is as I can. That's why I repositioned the engine. Uh, second reason is because what this is gonna allow me to do is easily change the ride height with just a couple bolts. So what I plan on doing is I've got micro adjustment of the height about maybe two inches, inch and a half between each heim joint that I can adjust just by turning these uh, tie rods, if you will. And what I'm also gonna be able to do is this is our track mode. And if you guys remember trail mode from last time, I had like 11 inches of clearance, this is more like four. All I have to do is just swap these four uh, bars out here without having to ch touch my shocks at all and that's going to allow me to stand this thing right back up to where I had it before so that's really cool and the third reason is it looks badass look at how cool this is it's a little bit overly complex maybe but not really awesome oh another good reason this also makes it really easy for me to adjust my shocks on the fly so Put your little shock tool on here. Right now they're sitting at uh, probably about half stiffness and they still feel plenty stiff. So it also allows me to set up my shocks in sort of like the ideal position. Instead of being stuck with just whatever angle that the shock will connect from your frame down to your A-arm, it's kind of nice to be able to have more freedom with that as long as you have the space. If you guys are interested, we can talk more about cantilever suspension in a future dedicated video, but this thing is looking awesome.